this. How long, Mr. Jackson, have you been living in that house? Uh, January of 92, Your Honor. And when you bought the house, was the fence there? Yes, ma'am, it was. As it is shown in this picture? Yes, ma'am, the original fence. It's time for a new fence. Your Honor. That old wood fence was going to come down at one point or another. So this is your problem, Mr. Jackson. You would like the Kaufmans to be neighborly and say, listen, this fence is 25 years old. It is an eyesore. It's old. It's rickety. Let's do the right thing as neighbors, because you've been living there also for a very long time. We'll split the cost of a fence with you. Yes, ma'am. That's what you would like. He doesn't want to be neighborly. Do you understand? Yes, So if you want to build a fence, build it on your property and pay for it. I assume that you don't want anything to do with them, so you want to have something separating yes, the two homes. So do it. He doesn't have to share the cost for right, you, sir. Right, ma'am. This um, is not a new fence. I can go huff and puff and blow your house down. The fence is 25 years old. You had junk there. He has junk there. Ma'am, I have no junk there Good. at all. But I do have a lot. I retained an attorney six years ago, and the attorney put them on notice. They said I have their letter that they would pay for half to maintaining the fence. This fence doesn't need maintaining. It needs demolition. Right. And at that time, my son and I maintained our portion of it. We assumed that the Kaufmans would take care of theirs. They never did. Hence, it blew down. And it was that section that blew down. What? We did send a, re send a response letter to him, and he never communicated further. Ms. Kaufman, I think that you and your husband are making a big mistake. I want you to understand that. There's so much tragedy going on in the world, and there's so much acrimony going on in the world. The place that you should feel as if it's a safe haven is in your home. So they, you've been living as neighbors for over two decades. Why in the world, over something that is relatively inexpensive, would you not want to be good neighbors and say, I have a home, and if my neighbor comes to me and say, you know what, this fell down, and it would be nice if we got together and put up some new trees, will you go half with us? Sure. Your Honor, you think I'm going to, you think I'm going to diminish the quality of my life by having a neighbor next door who I have to put my eyes down when I drive into the driveway. I don't smile. Good morning. You're ridiculous. However, he has no case. If the fence is on his property, if he wants to maintain it, he has to pay for it. What? May I explain a little bit of history on what, why we're not really see eye to eye with Mr. Jackson? No, you had, no what you have to do is you have to put a period. You can okay. put a period to history and you can say, you know what, you know his first name? Yes. Do you refer to each other by your first names? I, we try to avoid him because of That's, his complaints. There you go. That's right. There you go. Over nonsense. Nine complaints with the county over ridiculous things that are not true. Well, let me tell you something, sir. I have to tell you. I don't know what you and your wife do, but I'm looking at this junk that's in your backyard. I don't know what the rest of your life is like, but I don't know why somebody would keep all this junk in their backyard. I don't know why. That was I'm, just on one part of the just side. Just a second. I don't care if it... I, listen. I grew up with a place for everything and everything in its place, and if something is trash and you're ready to throw it out, you put it on the curb and you call sanitation. You don't put it in your backyard. You clearly think, oh, well, we're going to put this in the backyard. It'll look nice. This air conditioner is going to look nice in the backyard. This old barrel is going to look nice in the backyard. Well, if that's the way you want to live, fine. What I'm suggesting to you is you, if you try to avoid him, maybe there's a reason. Mm -hmm. And maybe you should just say, you know, enough is enough. And a, and a first wonderful starting place would be, say, I'll split the cost of a fence with you.